Okay guys, just a quick uh, and admittedly fairly janky video here, handheld phone video job, okay? Um, so just bear with me and hopefully you don't get motion sickness. Um, but I just wanted to clarify because I've had a few questions about the cover and there still seems to be a, a bit of a lack of clarity for a couple of people. Um, hopefully not after today's class, but just to be sure. Um, I have two scenarios here. Let's say I have a, a hardcover book that I want to redesign. Okay, don't judge the griminess of these, these books. This is, I've had this 30 years and this maybe, I don't know, 17, so don't judge me. Um, but essentially I have, I have a, a book here that I want to redesign the cover for. The uh, fortunate thing is I have the cover, the jacket I should say, uh, already here, okay? And I could use this to create my template for the sizes that I, I'm gonna need to uh, lay everything out at. So all I'm gonna do is lay my book flat, as so, or the, I'm sorry, my book jacket, and lay it flat. And then I'm just gonna simply take my straight edge and measure each panel, okay? So you essentially are gonna have you know, one, two, we'll count the spine, three, four, five panels in your template, okay? And you're just gonna set that up as, uh, you know, uh, and this is small enough to fit on an 11 by 17 page. I would just go in and, you know, make a template, um, divide it up exactly as this is uh, measured, exactly as this measures out, okay? One thing you wanna compensate for when you're measuring, say, anywhere that has a, a fold in it, okay? you wanna consider uh, that there's gonna be a little extra space required, say an eighth of an inch or so. Okay, an eighth of an inch in decimals is 0.125. So you're gonna to wanna to add maybe another, uh, you know, an extra eighth of an inch between the, the flap and the cover, okay? And that's roughly because it depends on the thickness of the book that you're applying this to, okay? Uh, how thick the paperboard is and everything. Um, so just, you know, you might have to test it out a little bit. And, and approximate it, okay? But you're essentially compensating for that thickness as it wraps around uh, the corner here, okay? So just be aware of that. So if you add that extra eighth of an inch, say, you could, you know, split it in half and divide, you know, put part of it on the flap here and part of it on the cover, okay? Because what you wanna be aware of is, let's say you have a cover, um, a flap here that has a flood of color on it. Say it's black and you have white type and your, say your, your uh, front cover is, you know, a natural or, or just a white even like this, you don't want that black bleeding over to your cover. So you just gotta compensate for that, okay? So remember that when you're setting up. And the same is gonna be true for anywhere, you know, where it folds on your spine on both sides. And then when it folds to the back flap, you wanna add in those little bits of extra space, okay? It's so just to compensate for that. And so that that would be as simple as that, okay? I, I could This is small enough to where I could lay it out on an 11 by 17 page, just set up as, a, you know, this template here. And it would, be good to go in one print. I wouldn't even have to print more than one. If your book is longer, you know, the, the whole jacket is gonna be longer than 17. Uh, you know, this is gonna, depending on, depending on where you're gonna to print too, there might be, you know, different size limitations. So if you print in a place that can go larger than 11 by 17, that's great, especially because some of you might have a book that's taller than 11 inches. If that's the case, make sure you do your, your research ahead of time and know where you can print, okay? And be, uh, make sure you can print at the sizes you need. Uh, and so just be aware of that. If I was gonna print, um, let's say I'm, I'm, I have, you know, the height is fine on an 11, uh, 11 inch uh, high page, but it's longer than 17, all I would do is I would print, I would still put it on 11 by 17, but in my first print, I would print from this edge, maybe to about here, okay, or you know, as far over as I can. And then on my second print, I would maybe start here and print the rest all the way to the end. And then I'm just gonna take those two prints, trim them out and overlap them, typically around where the, where the spine wraps, you know, maybe this area here, you could wrap your, your you know, first page around here, take the second one, overlap it, preferably where there's no text or no image that's gonna be noticeable. And then just, we can tape it using double stick tape down that little seam and it's okay to see the seam for our purposes, we're not worried about that, okay? So that's gonna be that, all right? The other thing I wanted to clarify is, um, you know, if you take an existing book, say like this one, this is a soft cover. I just started reading this and it needs bad help. It needs help in a bad, the, the worst way, okay? Good content, terribly represented, okay? Um, so I'd say I wanna redesign this one. So obviously it's a soft cover and it's a fairly thin book. So what I'm gonna do is find something in my library or anywhere else that uh, is roughly the same size, okay? And these work pretty well, okay? They're, this one's, you know, maybe a little bit taller. No, it's actually about exactly the same height, not bad, okay? 
Uh, in terms of the width of the, of the covers, pretty close as well, okay? Almost exact, actually. The, the only variation is in the, uh, the, the maybe this, this first, this hardcover is a little bit thicker, but part of that is the, the hardcover itself, and th there might be more pages there. But this is believable, because I could even argue that, hey, if I take this and make it like to this uh, size, I have more room on my page, and maybe if I can have a little more margin, a little more um, spacing on my line spacing if I need it, I can let the page breathe a little better, okay? So again, it doesn't matter what this book is, okay? The hardcover, you're just using it as a form, okay? So don't worry that these aren't the same thing. Uh, and then what you're gonna do is if you're designing to this and you don't have the jacket, as we did on the last one, then you're simply gonna measure out, okay, how much you know space do I need on that front cover, all right? Compensating again for this little edge here. Don't be fooled by this little seam, okay? This is maybe a quarter inch, but again, it's gonna wrap at this little corner here, where the spine meets here, okay? So you're gonna to wanna to measure that little space there, that little space there, and compensate for that. Now for the flaps, okay, well, what do I what do, I do for the flaps? Well, I mean, if you take a, a book of similar size where you can actually use the jacket, I mean, if you have to, go to a bookstore with a ruler and just, you know, who cares? They're just happy you're there because everyone buys on Amazon now, so just take your ruler to a bookstore if you need to and measure some flaps of books that are the same size. And if I look at this one here, and measure this out. This is comedy here with one hand. Um, I'm gonna see that it's roughly, let's see, you know, three, uh, let's see there. It's gonna be a little more than three, okay? And so if I'm looking at three and a quarter there, then I'm gonna add a little bit of that space where that, that little uh, division is between the two, and then I'm good to go. So I'd add maybe, you know, three, and a quarter plus half of an eighth of an inch, and I'm good for my flap in this situation, okay? And I think that would work fine for this, for this cover that we have here, okay? That's it, and I know that some of you may already have a grasp on that, but I wanted to make sure um, to clarify, hopefully that did, um, and if you have any questions, make sure you get a hold of me. All right, thanks.